Kai got a bee sting on his foot yesterday, but he braved it. He's a tough guy. Right, buddy? Hmm? Yeah, you're tough. You wanna say hi? Hi. Say, how are you? Hi. That's That's a long hi. It's been a very nice, relaxing morning at the cottage. Still can't believe I did seven full days. Well, I guess this will be eight full days. So far, there's only been like one day where I kind of wished that I didn't have to make a vlog. I think that was yesterday um, here at the cottage. I just felt like hanging out with the family and that's it. But at the same time, as I was editing yesterday's vlog, I realized that, yeah, I'm taking a little bit of time out of the day to work, but it's like I'm, I'm I'm making these memories and these things that happen eternal in a way. They're gonna be forever remembered through these vlogs. So yeah, I'm, I'm using up some of the time in the day to make the vlog, but it's like I'm, I'm using that to kind of like download or make permanent those memories, which is a really cool thing. It's gonna be really fun watching these vlogs back when I'm like, you know, 60, 70 years old. A lot of good memories. Back to relaxing. <laughs> First, I'm just gonna turn off the camera. Make daily great again. That last one was a bit of a belly flop. Ugh. Being at the cottage is really, really great, but there's one downside. The mosquitoes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And that's just on one shin. Say bye to the cottage. Bye. All right, it is unfortunately time to go pack and uh, head back into the city. Goodbye, cottage. Did you guys have a good time? Yes. Kai, you had a good time too? Good fun. time? Fun? Yeah? Say, lots of fun. Yeah. I had a great time. p.m. quick pit stop to uh, upload yesterday's vlog. It's a little late, but I didn't want to go to town then go back and pick up my family and then head back home again. Uh, so I'm just uploading it late. I think the most important thing is that the vlog doesn't start hindering my normal life. As soon as that starts happening, I'm probably not gonna like it as much. But so far, it's been really great. Perfect pit stop. Successful vlog, upload, time to continue the trip. We have arrived at home and it feels so good to be home. It's always nice to go to the cottage, but I just love being at home. How about you, buddy? You like being at home too? Oh, you like bubbles? He likes the club soda. Me and Kai just binged like an hour and a half of Paw Patrol. Good times. We literally just got home, but you know when it's been a long winter and then summer comes along, you kind of have this feeling of like, if it's nice outside, you, you cannot just sit inside uh, when it's this beautiful. So, went for a bike ride. She thought this might be a great time to do the very first Ask Maddie Q&A of the daily vlog. I carry a little fanny pack for my for my keys and phone when I'm biking. So I asked you guys on Twitter if you guys were curious about anything, if you wanted to ask a question. I feel, feel weird with this helmet on. So the first question from Izzy, how do you manage to do daily vlogging with all the responsibilities in your life, i.e. family, client work? So, so far it's been pretty interesting. I feel like Daily vlogging kind of just like fits into your normal life routines. Hi. You just squeeze it in there. So sometimes, you know, when you're packing up the car, instead of just packing it, you just set up the camera and then pack it. But I've also kind of pushed aside a lot of other things, uh, especially to do with work, to do this vlog. Alfie Days, who apparently has 5.3 million followers on Twitter. Holy crap, how do I how do I not know you? He asked EOS are oh man, there's so many mosquitoes here. This is a terrible idea. I've I spent the whole weekend battling mosquitoes and now uh, I decided to park my bike in 
like a swamp, I guess, with, with mosquitoes. Anyways, Alfie asked, EOS R or the 6D Mark II? And if EOS R, which lens? As it need the adapter and IS. Appreciate it, man. Loving the daily vlogs. Um, I think hands down the EOS R. I don't think there's really any reason other than price to get the 6D Mark II. And for me, I choose to go with the 16 or 35. Even though there's no IS, I just use the electronic image stabilizer inside the, the EOS R. And that so far has been working for me really, really great. I think right now, by far the best vlogging camera is the EOS R. The image is incredible, the flip LCD screen. It basically has everything you need to vlog. A-Train asks, with daily vlogs now, how do you stay inspired? Is it harder to come up with content? Actually, it's really interesting. So far, I've been way more pumped ah, to do the videos than I ever have on YouTube. I don't know if it's just like the momentum that you build, editing, posting, filming every single day. It's getting me really, really pumped up. And I find now, instead of just doing kind of tutorials and specifically filmmaking stuff, now there's like this whole world of other things that I can do on this channel when I'm doing these daily vlogs because now I have seven days instead of just two or three videos a week. There's literally uh, a mosquito on my phone. A Tyler Center asks, do you see yourself as an entrepreneur? I don't think I did before, but I think nowadays I probably see myself as like a filmmaker entrepreneur in, in one. They're almost like 50-50 nowadays. I really, really enjoy the business aspect of this whole YouTube world and everything that I'm doing right now. Ruivo asks, do you feel like you can't be yourself on camera? I feel that way a little bit sometimes. Keep up the good work, Maddie. Appreciate it. Yeah, that's an interesting thing. I think for me, it's taken a long time to really feel natural with you guys. Um, and I think I, I've mentioned this in a video before, what helps the most is to treat the camera like it's a person. And so however you would talk to your friend or another person, that's how you talk to the camera as much as possible. But it definitely takes practice if you're not used to being in front of a camera or if you're not like Peter or somebody who's just like born to be on camera. Literally from birth, they should like be in front of a camera because they're just so natural. Chris Brockhurst asks, how long to edit an average vlog? Does Matt secretly hate you for starting this? Um, okay, so so far, actually, I've edited, out of the seven that we've done this week, I've edited three. I think tonight might be actually four, and Matt's edited four. So it's been kind of 50-50. Um, so basically, the workload for Matt is, is pretty much the exact same. I'm just doing the weekends now. I'm doing a little bit more editing, which is really cool. And for me, so far it's taken about, I would say around two to three, maybe four hours to edit a vlog. Oh, here's a good one. Uh, Brian Hauer asks, after seven days, do you have more respect for Yunolson doing it for years straight or think he was playing nuts? Also, what's been the most challenging thing this first week? Okay, I already had a ton of respect for daily vloggers. I think it's it's like an impossible feat, especially to do for a longer period of time. And even more so, I have respect for them now, now that I've been doing this for seven days, which is like peanuts in comparison to what other people like Yunolson and Casey and, and Ben Brown and Fun For Louie, those guys have been doing it for or did it for so long in comparison to seven days. So yeah, tons of respect. And I do think it really takes a certain type of person to do a daily vlog. You have to be good at so many different things. You, you need to be able to film, know how to work a camera. You need to understand storylines and what makes things entertaining, editing, pacing. There's just so many things you need to be able to do as a daily vlogger. So yeah, crazy amounts of respect for all of the people who have ever done daily in the past. And what's been the most challenging thing? Hmm. I think for me, the most challenging thing so far has been kind of knowing where the boundaries are. For example, I signed up for this and I, and I asked my wife and so she kind of signed up for this also, but the rest of my family and my friends, they didn't sign up for a daily vlog. They didn't sign up to be seen by thousands of people. So I think that's been the most interesting thing so far is kind of navigating those boundaries. I also don't want anybody ever to think that I'm, I'm using them. Holy crap, there's just so many mosquitoes here. I don't want anybody to think I'm using them for the purposes of the vlog. I wanna treat people like people and, and then also vlog on the side. Chase Davis asks, any chance you're gonna use daily vlogs as a way to test out new cameras? Yeah, I'm definitely gonna be testing out different cameras. I, I'm actually 
probably gonna get my hands on a, on a new camera next week, so that's gonna be exciting. Okay, I, this is just getting out of control. I gotta at least change up the spot. If you could see, there's like, I can, all I see is mosquitoes, just mosquitoes everywhere. Ah, this was the most challenging Q&A of my life. Whoa. That's better, away from the mosquitoes. Sorry if it's a little noisy though, there's, there's a... Let's continue. Uh, Felipe Guilar uh, asks on Instagram, do you have or used to have barriers that make you think twice about vlogging? There's a million reasons why you shouldn't do a vlog and up until just a couple months ago really, I never ever wanted to do of a consistent vlog, especially not a daily vlog. I'm the type of person that never really wanted that much attention on me. I think that's like a built-in thing into Finnish people. You, you kind of you kind of want to just blend in in the background. Never wanted to be on camera. That was actually one of the biggest reasons that I didn't start a YouTube channel earlier because I didn't want to be the face of a channel. But that's something that I, I learned to like and I think I've gotten better at it, which is really cool. But I think if you really want to do it, just try it out. That's the only way to find out if you're gonna enjoy it and if it's a good thing or not. Just like with me and doing this daily. I, I don't know if this is a good idea still. I, I'm seven days into it. I, I'm loving it so far, but I don't know what it's gonna be like after doing it for a month, but I would have no idea unless I actually try it out. Sun's going down. I think that's a sign that I gotta get home to put my kid to sleep. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this first episode of Ask Maddie. More to come later. Bedtime. Book? Bedtime. Book? Oh, you want to read a book? Kai's asleep. Had some Kraft macaroni and cheese for an evening snack. Just an overall great day. I think it's time for a vlog. I take it back. The hardest thing about daily vlogging so far is working with a Joby Gorilla Pod. Please, somebody make something better or tweak it a little bit to make it better. Please, please. Also, that's that's not a pimple. That that's a mosquito or black fly bite. I'm not sure which, but one or the other. It's it's not it's not a pimple. I, I swear.